All right, the first step to putting an IV catheter in is you're gonna to need to shave your patient's leg. I usually start with where the vein is located because if they're going to decide to scream and run away from you, you may only have one shot to turn on your clippers. If you have the ideal situation, you wanna shave all the way around their leg. And you don't wanna take a long time because that tends to freak them out too. Okay. If you notice, my holder's not exactly holding off the vein yet, but they're in position. It's because you don't wanna occlude the vein for a long time. So next step is to scrub your catheter. I'm going to go ahead and just do one fell swoop straight down. You wanna do this at least three times. The idea behind it is you want contact time. It's not whoosh, 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 and be done with scrubbing. Okay, once you have the scrub, you need to dry the leg. So you're gonna dry gauze. You don't wanna dry over the spot that you're placing the catheter. You wanna dry the sides and underneath. Now your restrainer is going to hold off the vein. They're going to put their thumb over the top of it and roll the vein outward. I've selected a 22 gauge catheter for her. I've loosened the catheter on the needle. I didn't pull it off so I don't put a snag in it. And I've loosened the temporary cap and put that back on. You don't have to use the temporary cap, but it's a nice convenient way to do so. The vein runs along the top and it branches off to the side into an accessory vein. I'm just gonna go right for the top. Put it at a slight 45 degree angle, your bevel up, slide the catheter in until you see the blood flush backwards. You're gonna to wanna to hang onto the needle with your fingers and then use your pointer to slide that forward. If you take your thumb, you can go to the top. Sometimes it likes to slide forward, use your Temporary cap, slide that on. A little blood's not going to hurt anything. In fact, it lets you know that your catheter's still in. You can see how I've got my thumb on the end of the temporary cap. Do not put it on the end of your catheter. That is, um, if you put your finger on the end of the catheter, you're gonna cause it to become contaminated. Okay, I slid the skinny tape underneath, flipped it up and over, wrapped it around the bottom, back over the top. This first piece of tape will secure the catheter to the leg. Your next piece of tape will slide sticky side up, it's a skinny piece, up underneath, crisscross over the top, Bring the other side over the top. I am trying to move my hands a little bit so that they're out of the way, so that's why it doesn't look like I'm really grasping a whole lot, because I want you to be able to see. Um, wide piece of tape, sticky side down, slide it up and under, and then flip it back over the top. Okay, just cinch it back down. Notice I didn't pull it really tight. I didn't want it to um, cause any swelling. I'm going to use a T-port. You can use an injection cap or a short extension set. Make sure you don't touch the end of that as you disconnect and put it on there. Make sure it's secure. If you need your gauze to dab it, make it nice and clean. You're going to put, if this is really, really loose, this part isn't necessary for class. But if you notice that this seems really loose and you don't trust your tape, there is a little stirrup that you can put here. I just wanna show you that just for the heck of it. But that is a skippable step. Put your vet wrap on. See how it slides right in there? You can use a hole, you can not put a slit in it. You just slide it in front of the catheter and then it goes up and over. Again, notice I'm not putting this super tight, I'm snugging it down. 
Once you have your T-port on or your short extension, you wanna put a safety loop. Let this fall naturally in its curve so that you're not actually putting a kink in it. Put your tape over top of it, pinch it together, and secure that tape right there. That helps so if the dog pulls, it's pulling here, not directly on your catheter. This is the part where you have to make sure that every bit, everything is good. So your holder's gonna put their thumb or their finger. Oh, 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 sorry, sweetie, you okay. let it go. Oh, this is nothing actually fits. Oh, that's okay. 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 Oh, that's ok